Hi, I'm Robert with the Bartholomew County Public Library. So you're stuck at home. And maybe you feel like making some art, but you don't have any paint. And all the places that you would go to get paint are closed. Well, here's what you can do. If you have some coffee or some tea, you can make your own paint. And here's how. So I've saved about uh, three days of coffee grounds in this Tupperware container, putting it in a mixing bowl. And you want to heat up about a cup of water. Which we're going to add to those coffee grounds. I'm going to try to filter that again, since I make my coffee in a French press. That makes it very easy. Um, you might try to do this. You might try using a coffee filter or something like that. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, well, I didn't even have to. But you know what? I am going to try to scrape some of those in, and we will we'll see. I'm glad I turned off the camera for that because uh, it was kind of a mess and it made all sorts of disgusting noises. But uh, now I'm just going to do it just like I filter out coffee. All right. There we go. So, there we go. There's the grounds, there's the coffee. I'm going to put that in there. Next we add vinegar, just a teaspoon of it. What this does is this acts as what um, ink and fabric people call a mordant. And then we're going to add another teaspoon of salt. And so what the salt does is it acts as a preservative. I'm going to stir this up again. A little more heat wouldn't hurt. All right. Let's see. So that's, hmm, that's, that's a little hot. Not too bad, but before trying it, let's let it cool down some. All right, so let's try this out. I've put some of that mixture we made in a jar, and so now I've got, all right, some uh, just plain old sketch paper here. Got my brush, and I'm going to try this out. All right, okay, so, I mean, it looks like coffee, kind of. I mean, it's it's surprisingly light, is the interesting thing, you know. What I'm gonna try is to um, maybe add a little bit more of the coffee grounds. All right, and now this mixture here, this still has uh, some of the coffee grounds in it. I just took the old mixture that I had and just added some of the coffee grounds back in. And if you can see, I've got one of those, uh, I've got a yogurt cup here. You know, yogurt cups, whether they're, whether they're glass or plastic or some of the most useful art containers there are. So here, let's go ahead and give this a try and see. Oh yeah, you know. So I think we have a winner here. So I also took some uh, green tea leaves that have been uh, sitting uh, sitting around and um, using that same process that I told you about. Made, it's, uh, 
it's actually kind of an interesting green, gray, not, not green as you might think, but gray blue uh, color. It's, it's not very strong though, certainly not compared to the brown. So when I was thinking about what I could do to demonstrate uh, how to use this, I, you know, there was just something about the, uh, the color, probably the color, the brown color, and the, the layering that it requires that made me think of the painting, The Fairy Feller's Master Stroke by the British the 19th century British artist, Richard Dadd. Uh, the painting is in the Tate Museum in London, and it, like most museums, is closed right now, but, you know, it's also in London, so it's a little hard to get to anyway. However, you can go online and see a picture of that. They have that uploaded, um, along with some information about the artist. And um, so, you know, I did something that, uh, you know, also involved magical creatures and such. And so, you know, as you can tell, this is in progress. But, you know, I'm using uh, both both of those sets of um, coffee paints and that, uh, that gray, 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 gray blue um, tea ink. And from that, you know, the tea, the tea ink or tea paint, um, it's interesting. It actually works as a, as a kind of um, highlight almost. It's, it's what I used. You know, it's almost white. Um, what I used up in here in the, the trees and to, to do the the river over there. So anyway, this is, as I said, clearly it's in progress. Um, and hopefully, you know, some of the uh, more conspicuous coffee grounds will brush off. All right. That's how you do it. And um, update. The, uh, the coffee grounds do brush off. Uh, although, as you can see, I'm, I'm still nowhere near finishing. It's very slow going, which, you know, really is perfect for right now. And um, just to give credit where credit is due, a lot of the uh, research for this video came out of uh, these two books. It's uh, The Organic Artist by Nick Netto and The Wild Dyer by Abigail Booth. Both very cool books. And, you know, so the social distancing won't last forever. And so, at some point when the library is open, again, feel free to bring in what you've created and show it to me. I'm very interested in seeing what people have done. All right, have fun.